Dear Benjamin, I've been trying to get through to you for a while now. I would have written an email, but I'm writing you a letter, but you knocked my internet out. Anyway, your secretary keeps saying you're busy and you'll get back to me. To be honest with you, I don't even know why I'm writing you, but maybe you'll feel my pain and become sane. But I don't know if that can happen, because I once read your shrink saying that you are clinically insane. Makes sense, really, because only someone like you can drop bombs on Gaza like it's rain. But I still believe you can change, because if Moses was told to give Dao to Pharaoh, then maybe something will click in your brain. Hold up, that's a sign I gotta go. I'll be right back from a concerned human trying to change a demon. When she's gone cold, I'm wondering why. No, I don't care at all. Morning bomb drops at my window. No, I can't see at all. And even if I could, it'll all be bad. Got these blood stains on my wall. It reminds me and it makes me sad. It makes me mad. Dear Benjamin, or shall I say BB, I've written like a half a dozen letters to you. You haven't got back to me. I'm disappointed. I was trying to reason with you. Just the other day, I lost six family members and none of them was Hamas. I don't get how you live with yourself. How can you kill people like that? Where's your conscience, man? These are war crimes and that's a fact. How can you say we are shielding them like women and children? You have three kids of your own. Yeah, no, on Abner. Imagine if somebody killed them with a human-operated drone. Is it an eye for an eye? Life for a life? You say defend, but it seems that revenge will keep it up because it will never end. From Omar, a concern human trying to change a demon when she's gone cold i'm wondering why no i don't care at all morning bomb drops at my window no i can't see at all and even if i could it'll all be bad got these blood stains on my wall it reminds me and it makes me sad it makes me mad Dear Mr. Amalek, don't think I didn't see your speech the other day. Oh, you want to kill us all by quoting the Bible? You hypocrite, I bet you don't even follow the Torah or the Bible. You and your Lakuda Nazis, even Israelis, are protesting against you and your party. We see you trying to change your legal system so you can get out your corruption, fraud and evil connections. Oh, I even heard that there was a stand-down order on October 7th. And don't think we don't know about Hannibal, you devil. You're a straight-out war criminal. You need to be in the Hague. One day you're going to be gone like Sharon and you're going to feel that earthquake. Don't you see the cycle of violence is going to continue the violence? Do you think if you kill people's children, parents and family, they're going to sit there in silence? Of course people are going to rise up and stand up in defiance. When is this going to end? We are tired of this killing trend that you so seem to love. Don't you get it? What you are doing will never have a good end. Do you not comprehend? We want peace. Ah, oh, that seems too close. Mama, no! She's gone cold, I'm wondering why No, I don't care at all Morning bomb drops at my window No, I can't see at all And even if I could, it'll all be bad Got these blood stains on my wall It reminds me and it makes me sad It makes me mad Dear Omar, I'm sorry I've not been able to get back to you sooner. I've just been a bit busy. Some say busy conducting a genocide, but I don't like that word. I prefer to call it a mass suicide, because we warned the guards about the bombs coming, but they stay put and shield, not caring about their lives going. Now, I don't agree with many things you said, but the reality is, this is our land, because the United Nations said. Because back in 1947, the United Nations Partition Plan was passed, which gave Palestine to the Jewish people. 
Of course ignoring the fact that Palestine was inhabited by 75% Arabs who were never asked, but the UN was created by America, who is our great ally and will veto everything to protect us, the settler. I know many of our ancestors are from Europe, with mine being from Eastern Europe and even Spain, but let's forget about the logistics, because with my plans, we will forever reign. America or nobody can stop our terror campaign. I mean, how can a colonizer tell a colonizer to refrain? Them screams and shouts for a ceasefire will be in vain. On a side note, I can't believe what Putin is doing to Ukraine. Anyway, I think you need to stop being so angry at me. If you don't like your life there, then simply move away. I mean, I heard a story the other day about a boy who was writing letters to me every day. But the idea bombed his house and they said the letters were calling me all sorts of names. We killed him, his family and some were maimed. I mean, what can you do? Didn't they hear the plane? My advice to you is to move away because you don't want to end up dead or in pain. Like that boy who got killed, the media said his name. They said it was Omar. Wait a minute, your name is the same. Oh, that was you. Bismillah ar rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, it's your brother Omar Isa. My brothers and sisters, I need you to support me for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with my fundraising campaign for the children of Palestine. My brothers and sisters, give whatever you can for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The link is in the description. £10, £100, £1,000, £2,000, whatever you can give. One pound, it doesn't matter. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, or whatever country you're watching this in, because we need to support them. My brothers and sisters, we have not seen this crisis, not in my lifetime, I've not seen what's going, the hardship that they're going through in Palestine. But we need to support the children. We need to support the children. So please give whatever you can for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, the link is in the description. And share this, share this video as well, please. And like it. Because when you like it and you share it, it goes a long way. SubhanAllah. Because you know what they do when we're speaking about Palestine? Shadow bands and all that kind of stuff. We need to come together as one ummah. Support my fundraising for the children of Palestine. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.